So yeah, it's great being out here. It's great being back in Hanoi. Um, yeah, it's great being back in Hanoi. It means a lot that Mike uh, acknowledged me for everything I've done. Um, it doesn't mean a lot because Mike's acknowledging me. It just means a lot because Mike's not insulting me anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you're lucky. Don't. Uh, let me give you some context. So after Donald Trump got elected president, um, a lot of comedians uh, felt the need to insult me before going up. Uh, context, I'm Mexican-American. And uh, yeah, thank you. One woo, yeah, one solid woo. All right, um, I'm Mexican American, and comedians feel the need to uh, point it out every time I go up. For example, one time I brought, uh, I was brought up, and some guys like, "Your next comedian, he's a real bad hombre. <laughs> Your next comedian is a real criminal. Am I right, you guys?" And one guy literally looked at me and said, "Your next comedian, he's just Mexican." And he gave me that look, like a disappointed mom, just, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but my, the worst way I was brought up was uh, this one comedian was like, hey, Eric, I got a joke about you being Mexican, and I'm going to use it. And this was after I'd just been getting insulted and insulted. I was like, you know what, man? Say I'm Eric Garcia, bring me up, and walk off. He's like, no, man, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I'm going to talk about how Trump is a rapist and a criminal, uh, Trump calls Mexicans rapists and criminals, but then I'm going to switch it and see and reveal how he's actually the rapist and the criminal. And I was like, all right, man, fuck it, just go. Just don't forget the punchline. Uh, he brings me up. Guess what he fucking forgets? 